Well hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course if you're new welcome to my channel how are you doing? Um, my name is Alex and I post three beauty related videos every single week so if those are the types of videos you like to watch then make sure you put that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time that I upload. Today guys we are doing a full face of the iHeart Revolution vending machine gift set. If you would like, oh quick mention about the price so originally this gift set retails for 50 pounds i believe i bought it for 30 pounds when it went on sale first but guys it's now half price it's now 25 pounds at the minute when i am filming i assume it's going to stay that price for the rest of the year so I will link obviously that product down below and if you choose to click on my link I do earn a small commission from it so that would help me out as well so there we go if you want to see how I created this look on my face right now then please keep watching so we're gonna be starting off with the face first so as you can see I have got foundation and concealer on I used both the conceal and define products um i thought i'd stay in the revolution theme today so the first product we're going to be taking is the iheart revolution i don't need to keep saying that because everything's iheart revolution this is the translucent baking powder now they do have baking powders out now that it come they come out shortly after the gift sets were launched so i don't know if this is the same formula i don't actually own one of their powders so i'm gonna give this a go and see if it's any good so i have already unpacked this so i didn't have to spend the whole video doing that um but i'm just gonna tilt some in the lid now i have, oh, I have noticed i don't know if you'd be able to tell probably not now that that's all gone down but it's quite um clumpy like the powder is not like finely milled that's what i mean to say it's not finely milled oh crap right, okay i'm gonna start off with that amount um and to set my face i'm gonna use the marshmallow sponge i was gonna use this to do my foundation but if i'm gonna be honest it's way too dense i just can't see it working so i'm going to take some powder on the bottom bit of the sponge and i'm going to set my under eyes with this and i do know we have a kabuki brush but i'm thinking about using that for bronzer okay so that's the powder on um it's a powder like it's not my favorite powder i've ever used i did try to use a sponge guys but it's so dense and hard it's really hard to disperse the powder over my face so i did end up using a brush to just finish off um the other areas that it didn't quite mattify um but to be honest i didn't really use a lot because my face was quite matte anyway um but it's done the job it's set my face i think i'm gonna have to keep using this to see if it is really really good bronzer so we do have a couple of face palettes here um we have a blush palette which we're also not going to use and then we have the chocolate marble palette and in oh my god i need to drop to it and in this palette you get a bronzer and you get a highlighter so we're going to be using the bronzer and i'm also going to be using the kabuki brush that come in the gift set as well obviously um i am going to use absolutely everything that come in the gift set now that is very pigmented so i'm a bit scared to use this kabuki brush as well so let's see what happens Okay, so that's all the bronzer applied um that is a very pigmented bronzer i am a little bit patchy here i don't know if you can tell quite on camera um but i literally i don't know if you saw if i first when i first went like that it sort of like stayed there and i had to blend it out quickly but um it's a little bit dark for my skin tone a bit more dark than my normal bronzers um it would definitely suit a like light to medium i'm quite fair so it definitely go with a light to medium skin tone um it's just a little bit too dark for me but i think i have made it work i did bring it down my neck a little bit so hopefully i don't look too scary um but yeah i mean it's a bronzer 
bronzers can be good you know from the drugstore high end so it's decent just a little bit too dark so for contour there's not specifically a contour product there's not like a proper face palette but i was looking in the eyeshadow palettes and in this white one they do have this brownie neutrally shade here so i think i'm gonna try and use that see if that works it might be a little bit dark but we'll see how we get on okay so this is the eyeshadow contour on uh, it's a little bit warm toned but it's not a contour palette so i can't be mad at it it's not too bad done the job it did contour me but as i say it is a little bit warm we're going to move on to highlighter now um so we're going back in with the chocolate marble palette and as you saw next to the bronzer there is this beautiful gold toned highlighter i am so excited to try this so let me just get my highlighter brush um and we're gonna try this i freaking love the look of this highlighter so i hope it is decent so there's actually not that much kick up a little bit see if you can yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness are you joking what on earth oh my god i'm so gutted this is only in the gift set because you need this oh I'm not even being dramatic, this is literally one of the most blinding highlighters from the drugstore. So for blush, as you saw with my unboxing, um, by the way I'm going to link that down below, um, they had the Ruby Chocolate Palette. So um, it comes with two blush shades. My problem with this is that this one on the right, for my skin tone personally, kind of is more like a bronzer even though it is pink toned like you can tell that that's pink toned um it is more like a bronzer so i just kind of wish they put even if there's going to put a, a shade in there for like darker skin tones even if they put like a bright pink in there because i would still use that um this one would be too powerful deep skin so the problem with this is obviously it doesn't cater to every single skin tone um but we're gonna give it a go anyway so i'm gonna take this shade on the left which is a beautiful pal pink shade and we're gonna use that and just blend in the highlighter and the contour together i'm going to give this a go so i love to stamp it from the apples of my cheek out to my contour and i do put a lot on so as you can see i've just put a lot on there so i'm gonna go pop my brows on off camera and then i'll be right back so we can jump into the eyeshadow right guys so i'm back i've put my brows on i literally just use the revolution brow pencil and then i did put a little bit of the benefit give me brow on this is in the shade three and it's a little mini it's so adorable so now guys we're going to move on to the eyeshadow palette and we have two options we have the white chocolate palette which is obviously what i used for contour and then we also have the dark chocolate palette which is obviously a bit more of a grungy palette so i think i'm just gonna incorporate both palettes i do kind of just want to use mostly this one but i might incorporate like the darker brown or something from this palette so firstly as they're like small palettes i'm just going to quickly swatch them for you um and then we can get into the eyelet so this is the white chocolate palette swatched um there are how many shimmers there's five shimmers in there and two mattes and that is the dark chocolate palette swatch it's actually fairly pigmented for a drugstore palette and i do love the purple tones in it so i might dive into those today and also in the set you did receive three mini travel brush set brush sets brush brushes travel brushes um so i am going to use these today as well i don't think i'll use this one the one with the angled you know end because i don't use a brow product brow powder or anything 
but I'm gonna use the other two. So this is what they look like. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the dark chocolate palette and I'm gonna take this light neutral brown right here and I'm gonna put that in my crease. So that's all in the crease that was actually fairly pigmented. There's not really that much fallout either. So now I'm going to go in with the white chocolate palette and I'm just going to grab that darker neutral, the one that we used for our contour. I can't get over that highlighter. Um, the contour shade that we used for today. And I'm just going to go over that slightly. And I do want to go in with that matte purple, so I'm going back in with the dark chocolate, taking this wee little purple, and I'm going to put that in the crease also. Okay, so I put that in, and I also went ahead and blended more of that first light neutral shade at the top just so it blended the shades more together but to be honest for a drugstore palette that's worth like six pounds it's actually fairly decent so far so now we are going to go in with a darker shade so i'm going to take the dark chocolate palette and take this dark brown here and we're going to be doing a halo eye so i'm going to put the shade either side right you're going right so now i'm going to take a shimmer i'm going to take this gold shade from the white chocolate palette i'm going to actually use that other brush and see if i can use it for shimmer and i'm just going to go in with my original brush that i use and just slightly blend out the edges okay so that shimmer was i'm actually so impressed with that shimmer um it's really pigmented there is a little bit of fallout underneath my eyes but doesn't matter um i did wet it at all and it's there like i'm really impressed and this palette is actually available to buy it's been out for ages so if you need like an easy everyday neutral palette with loads of shimmer this is going to be your new fave um i'm very impressed with that for the lower lash line i'm going to take that purple shade and i'm just going to put it all the way across And then for my inner corners and my brow bone, I'm going to go again with the white chocolate palette and I'm going to take this silvery shimmer right here. So this is the eye look complete. I'm going to go put some mascara on and then I'll be right back. So the eyes are now complete. I just literally put on the Revolution and the mascara on. What are we left to do? Ah, we are left to do the lips. So I've got one lip gloss here. There are three in the gift set, but I sold two of them because I'm just not going to use them. I've got so many lip glosses. So the one that I kept is the salted caramel lip gloss there was also milk chocolate and coconut coconut um was more of like a pale pink shade and i just would not use that and milk chocolate was just a little bit too dark for me so the salted caramel lip gloss was the most wearable for me so i'm just gonna shove some of this on my lips and it smells like salted caramel Once you put it on your lips, you can't smell the side caramel. So that's all good. This shade is stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. It's like literally my perfect nude gloss. Um, 
doesn't feel entirely sticky like it's like literally the minuscule amount of stickiness but it's literally nothing and it feels really moisturizing i really really like it so the very very last step of this is the setting spray so this is the pink lemonade illuminating setting spray um it's vegan cruelty three free uh yeah it's just a setting spray so let's put some of this on okay so it does smell like lemonade but it's like more of like a chemically lemon scent like a cleaning product lemon anyway let's put some of this on yeah it's definitely a chemical lemon <laughs> Okay, so that spray is like very, like very shot in your face. Let me see what my face looks like. It's really hard to tell with setting sprays. Like it's very hard to like review them um, because obviously it all depends if what they're used for. So like this one's illuminating. So it's obviously not going to make your skin last, your skin, your makeup last longer. But to be honest, I can see the little speckles of the spray on my face it doesn't look very illuminating to be honest but so guys this is the finished look using all the makeup in the iHeart Revolution vending machine gift set let me just give you a quick overview of all the products the powder was decent I just need to try it more it's not exactly finely milled so it doesn't disperse around my face a lot as much as other products but it was okay I just need to keep trying it um the face palettes this was really good the bronzer was a little bit too dark for me but i can make it work and do i need to say any more about this highlighter so i am really love this i'm gonna keep using it the blush palette my only criticism criticism is the shade choice but that's just me speaking on behalf of my skin tone on behalf of my skin tone what am i even talking about you know what i mean like these shades probably this one suits my skin tone more this one it is probably more like a bronzer on me that's the only thing with that um the eyeshadows i am so impressed with like these are six pounds each you can't buy this one you can buy this one um but they're six pounds each and it's actually very decent obviously it's not the most best quality i've ever tried in my life but for the price you pay for this um then i can't really say any more than that like i'm so impressed with it the shimmer was probably the best thing about these palettes because it was so pigmented and I haven't been very impressed with Revolution Shimmers recently. So to have a shimmer like that in uh, an in an iHeart Revolution palette, very happy with that. Um the brushes. So this, the Kabuki brush, I would probably use this again. I might use it for powder next time and not bronzer. I feel like with powder it will disperse it a lot better i think with the bronzer once you stamp it on you need to like blend it out so i think i'd try this with powder but it's very decent it feels very nice as well and i love the pinky rose gold handle the eye brushes am i going to use them again probably not did they work i mean yeah they did the job um they're not obviously what i would use on an everyday basis because i have a million other eye brushes that i will use um but i would never use them again but they're decent they're okay and if you like little brushes like this you'll like them um they are actually very good i think this would be great for like kids and like teenagers who are like very new to makeup um the sponge is a big fat no from me it did not work at all the lip gloss is very nice i love the shade i'm gonna keep using this and putting it on top of like nude colors like matte lipsticks and stuff really really like the gloss and lastly i think um it's a pink lemonade setting spray and it's you know melted all my my makeup together um i don't know how illuminating that is i don't know if you can tell on camera but i can't really see much difference um uh, it smells like chemical lemon so if you don't like that sort of scent you're not gonna like this so guys that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a massive thumbs up let me know down below what you think of this makeup i mean i I'm pretty impressed. This went so much better 
than the donut video i don't know if you've seen that i'll link that in the cards and down below um but i that was a huge fan of that video so to have this as a gift set video and be very good i'm very happy so obviously if you haven't subscribed please subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next video bye